Welcome back. We're going to continue learning about Adobe InDesign and we're going to use this file. Remember that we used it on the last video. So open it please and we're going to continue. Sometimes, you don't know, in near future someone is going to make a request to you and say, hey, can you change please all the font? I don't want it like that. I prefer to have it a serif font and I want a smaller font and so on. Imagine that, I don't know, the book has 500 pages, 400 pages, and you're going to come and select in one just page, you're going to say, oh yeah, Brenda, it's okay. I just have to select shift and then come to the character and select the font that I, I, I want, right? I want to write type and then I'm going to select the font and I'm going to do it um, italic and so on. Do you really, are you really going to do it like that? Or how about if you can edit the style that is already defined here. What is a paragraph style? Let's see. I already have it in my panel to the right, but in case you don't have it, please go to the top menu, window, styles, and then select paragraph styles. And you're going to have this. As you can see, there are some styles already saved on the document. Let me show you some of them. This is one style, for example. This is another one. How do I know they are styles? Well, when I select them, they are going to tell me on the right side of the panel if they have a specific style. For example, if it doesn't have a specific style, well, it's not going to be selected right here. Let's see this one. Yes, this one is a mixed style. How do I know it's mixed? Because it's telling me in, on this side and it's telling me, for example, that this is one style and this is another one. Let's see, I'm going to double click it so I can find out what's going on. This one is body text and this one is body heads, okay? Now let's go, go to the one that we just transformed. This one used to be body text too. Remember that I made some changes? Well, once you have made some changes, you're going to find out that this sign ap appears at the side. It's, the software is telling me, hey, you made some changes from the original uh, style. Let's double click it. Remember that I transform it into times, right? I'm going to double click this one and it's going to tell me, well, the original style is railway regular 11 and you change it into times, correct? So if I want to go back to the original, as you can see right here, this would be a huge difference between two of them. This is the body text and this is the one that I already has the same qualities, but it has changed in some fonts. So what do I want you to tell you? Or what do I want to, to share with you? You can create a new style. How? Let's go. First of all, you don't need to have anything selected. At the bottom of the paragraph style, you're going to find out that you have this uh, create new style. Please click it. Once you have it like that, you're going to find out that you have a new paragraph style. Double click it. Save it with your name or a specific style that you want. You're going to say chulito is bonito tururu, it's okay. <laughs> Basic character format is when you define the font, the size, the leading. I'm going to change it into impact because it's going to be really different. The size, I'm going to change it into 10. Leading is the distance that you have between two lines. Kerning is the visual space. And tracking is how you separate let letters and words. Case, in case you want small caps, all caps, I'm going to explain it later. And the position, you want it normal because you want it in an invisible X line, okay? What else can you define? Well, you can define, for example, the alignment of the um, paragraph. I'm going to select it to the right center, just to have an example for you to, so you can understand about it. Indent is when you have a separation from the frame Remember that when you have a frame of a text, you usually have the text right really close to the line of the frame, correct? But if you leave an indent, you're going to give a space. I'm going to do this on the first line of the life, first line indent of the paragraph. That's all I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to click OK. So remember that I selected font that is called impact, correct? So I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to apply this new style. Remember that I selected that it has to be aligned to the middle. So it's going to be easier. And the good thing is that you can edit 
all the um, characteristics of the style by just doing double click on the panel. So what's the difference about um, small caps and all caps? I'm going to use the same style that I already applied on this text. Let me get it right here. Small caps is something that is called in Spanish versalitas. It goes like this. You're going to transform a capital letter or a cap into the size of an X. That means, for example, E, S, O, N. Let me show you how. I'm going to select the word sounds, type, and I'm going to change the case. Uppercase is going to transform it into mayúsculas or uppercase. So you have it like that. Type, change case, and oops, lower case is going to be this. In Spanish will be minúsculas, correct? Now, where can I change it into small caps? On the top menu, where I have all the characteristics of the character, I have something that is called a small caps. Please, just what the one that I have right here. If you don't have the option, remember that you can change the workspace to Essential Classic. I'm going to click it, and you're going to find out that it's going to transform. It's not going to change the size. What it's going to do is to transform, for example, all the text into small caps. Now, as I have right here, um, a cap, uh, a tall cap or an upper cap, this, that's why you can see the difference between this one and the other one. But if I change it, for example, into a lower cap, this is going to happen. So sometimes it is used in Mexico, especially if you want to give the name of a special, um, of an important institution or organization, they usually do it like that. I don't like it that much, but remember that depends on what the client needs. For example, I want to change this one into small caps. It looks better, right? So as you can see, the leather is going to be transformed into the size of an X. When we say X size is when we're talking to the, I don't know, let me show it with lines. All the ones that have this height, let's see, is right here. Okay, oops, sorry. So that's the difference between small caps and upper caps. I don't know if you have any other question or doubts. So what, um, what should you do? Um, as, as we get to a closure, well, if you're going to do a book, please use paragraph styles. It's going to help you a lot. It's going to make it easier. At the beginning, you have to define it here and then just write the text or import it from Word or I don't know, the format they're going to give you, TXT, for example. And later, you just have to select the paragraph and transform it to the style that you need. And it's going to be easy and it's going to be fun. Now, what other thing you have to review? Always review at the bottom. If you have errors, please click it, pre-flight, and then you're going to find out what's going on. For example, here it says, overset text to in page number two. And it's going to select it to you, and you're going to say, ah, of course, the frame is smaller. So you can adapt the frame, or you can come and do the um, original style, right? That it was body text, if I'm not wrong. So always keep in mind this. And the last but not least, remember, if you have pictures, like I do, file, package. Always save the files as package and you're going to be able to save the font. That is really important because you never know if the people that is going to receive the file has the font. And the images are going to be linked. And I hope you enjoyed the class and I can't wait to see all the beautiful things you're going to be able to do. Take care, good luck, and see you later. Bye.